Hello there, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the last video. If you haven't checked that out, or any of my other videos, please do so. So in Darth Vader number one, covered in another video, but more in Star Wars issue number four, we see the Empire striking a deal with the Huts to supply them with resources necessary for the construction of the second Death Star. Although the Empire did this due to an extreme need of resources, this is still an unusual move for the Empire. Furthermore, Sidious was considering striking a deal with other criminal syndicates as well, such as the Kumori. But why was the Empire so willing to deal with criminals, especially when they are shown eliminating cr criminal syndicates? In this video, I will explain and clarify the reason why the Empire was so willing to deal with some criminals, and why at the same time the Empire was destroying others. There will be minor spoilers for Solo, a Star Wars story ahead. The main reason why the Empire allied itself with criminal syndicates was simply out of dire necessity. An example of this is shown in Darth Vader number 1, that video in the link below, and Star Wars issue number 4, where it is shown that Darth Vader and the Empire were very reluctant to ally with the Huts. They did so because of the pressing need for resources in order to swiftly complete the second Death Star. As stated by Darth Sidious in Darth Vader number 1, the second Death Star's construction is of the highest priority. Due to the high priority of the second Death Star's construction, the Empire conceded and struck a deal with the Huts. However, there were two exceptions to this rule. The first exception was why Moffs and other Imperials were present on Dryden Voss's yacht, as Crimson Dawn was a powerful criminal syndicate. While there's no answer in the visual guide for Solo, or in any other Solo material, we can deduce why based on the behavior of Moffs in general. As shown in several canon works, the Moffs were notoriously corrupt, and often behaved separately from the Imperial military. While Moffs commanded the forces of the Imperial military, their roles were more as rulers and politicians. As pol political figures, they were very often accepting bribes and conducted illegal business for their individual gain. Therefore, we can assume that the Moffs present on Voss's yacht were there to further their personal goals, whatever they may be. Also, they could have been there for the women, as the women were, were very elite and attractive. We can assume that the Moffs were there representing themselves and not conducting business on behalf of the Empire. The Moffs being there was an exception, and doesn't apply to this reason. The second exception to this can be seen in Solo, on the spice mines of Kessel. While the Pikes were the ones mining the spice, they weren't the one only ones who profited from it. The Empire is shown to take an interest for Kessel. Why? As seen in brief shots in the movie, mining guild officers were on site. The mining guild was a branch of the Empire that overseed all mining operations throughout the Empire, and made sure the Empire got a percentage of the resources gathered. Therefore, the Empire wasn't allied with the Pikes at all, they were just gathering their percentage of the resources. Sort of like a tax. If the Empire allied itself with criminal syndicates out of necessity, then why were they actively destroying some while leaving others alone? Firstly, the Empire simply didn't have much time or resources. In the first 19 years of the Empire's reign, the main focus was building the Death Star. This meant that once the Separatist holdouts were eliminated, gathering resources was the top priority, not criminal syndicates. Therefore, they eliminated only certain syndicates, ones that wouldn't put up much of a fight, such as the Sun Toll Pride in Dr. Aphra number 19. Secondly, the Empire only actively destroyed criminal syndicates, particularly the bigger ones, only if they were a direct threat to them. An example of this is shown in Darth Vader number 2, video in the link below, where pirates backed by the Kumori were raiding Imperial ships and taking the riches on board. Since the Kumori were threatening the Empire's operations, they needed to destroy them. It is also likely that they did this so the Kumori wouldn't make trouble for the Huts, who were supplying the resource themselves. To summarize, the Empire only allied itself with criminal syndicates out of dire necessity, such as with the Huts. Moffs on Voss's yacht and Imperial's mining guild officers on Kessel were exceptions, and they weren't allied with the criminal syndicates at all. The Empire only destroyed criminal syndicates if they were directly threatening their operations, or if the Syndicate would put up no fight. But what do you guys think of this? Was the Empire wise to ally with only certain criminal Syndicates? Should they have more actively destroyed them? Let me know in the comments.
I will respond. Also, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.